ഹലോ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ബാലാസ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ടുഡേ ഇൻ ദിസ് ക്ലാസ് ഐ ആം ഗോയിങ് ടു ടീച്ച് യു അബൌട്ട് ഡയറക്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻഡയറക്റ്റ് സ്പീച്ച് ലെറ്റ്സ് ഗോ ടു ദ ക്ലാസ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഡയറക്റ്റ് സ്പീച്ച് ആൻഡ് ഇൻഡയറക്റ്റ് സ്പീച്ച് നൗ ഇൻഡയറക്റ്റ് സ്പീച്ച് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ആസ് റിപ്പോർട്ടഡ് സ്പീച്ച് So let's learn about the definition of direct speech and indirect speech. Now direct speech is actually the words of the speaker. So direct speech says what others have said in their own exact words. Okay, so we usually mention it while writing in inverted commas. Whereas the reported speech or indirect speech is the report of the speech of speech. the person who already spoke okay so reported speech says what others have already said so inverted commas are not used in the indirect speech or reported speech i give you one example radha said i will be late for the party radha said i will be late for the party and this i have put it in inverted comma so it is the exact words of radha okay So now I wanted to say what Radha has already said. So now that becomes the indirect speech. So Radha said that she would be late for the party. I cannot say I here because it is Radha's words what I am reporting. So I say Radha said that she would be late for the party. Now let's uh, see the changes. Before that I would like to mention there are four kinds of sentences. one is assertive second one is imperative third one is interrogative fourth one is exclamatory sentence assertive sentence means the plain statement so in assertive statements or assertive sentences rather what are the changes we have to make in the tense while changing them from direct speech to indirect speech now i have a table here you can see on the screen so let me explain that now for example if we are saying that okay if the words are words of uh, words of the speaker is in direct speech and the tense is present tense while converting it to the indirect speech past tense will take place for example see i a uh, simple present tense i am late i am late am is the b form of the verb okay otherwise he is late he is late so when i say i am late the verb am is in the present tense so you have to convert it into past tense so it becomes i was late i was late otherwise if you wanted to say he is late when you convert it into indirect speech it becomes he was late okay now present continuous tense now you see ruchita is playing ruchita is playing is playing is in what tense is playing is in the present continuous tense so when you convert it into indirect speech ruchita was playing ruchita was playing is becomes was and playing so present continuous will become past continuous tense now present perfect tense i have rested have rested present perfect tense in indirect speech it becomes past perfect tense i had rested now simple past tense i ate it it is in the past tense now you have to change that word into past perfect tense i had eaten i had eaten now past continuous tense will become past perfect continuous tense i was studying it becomes i had been studying i had been studying is in what tense past perfect continuous tense now suppose if it is in the past perfect tense if the verb is in the past perfect tense in indirect speech and there is no change in indirect speech for example i had read i had read past perfect so you need not change the tense i had read remains the same right and now will will become would shall will become should in the indirect speech now what about the pronouns in indirect speech or reported speech the first person i i am early she said that she was early i becomes she okay i become she if the person is female gender if you are using female gender if it is uh, okay uh, he he said i am early means you have to say he said that he was early 
right i have given you in the table column table column you can see the pronouns i will become either he or she depending upon the person you use in the direct speech and now suppose if it is we we becomes they so they said we are ready we are ready that is in the quotations you have inverted commas open inverted commas and close inverted commas the sentence is we are early and in direct speech it says they said they were ready we becomes they it is indicated very clearly in the uh, picture what you see on the screen in the second person you is the second person you will become i or he or she how it is he said to me you are early he said to me you are early he is mentioning you he said to me you are early so he told me that i was early so he is pointing about you so you are early he is saying when he is speaking to you but in direct speech when you convert his sentence into in direct speech you say he told me that i was early okay and suppose it is a plural thing okay she said to them you are early she told them that they were early okay now the third person you know what is third person he she and it okay then how do you change it he said she is early he said that she was early no change okay if it is she because he said she was early he is talking about somebody else she okay he said that she was early and she said they are early there is also no change in the direct speech she said that they were early okay that's about the pronouns we have seen the tense you have changed you have seen the change of pronouns now we see how the expressions of time and place gets changed in direct speech when you convert it from direct to indirect now this evening will become that evening today that day yesterday the day before or the previous day anything you can write these will become those now will become then ago will become before last weekend the previous weekend next the following tomorrow the next day or the following day and here becomes there now universal truth what do you mean by universal truth universal truth remains the same whether it is past or present or future for example the sun rises in the east or man walks on two legs or uh, uh, the peacock dances well these are the facts which you can never change whether it will be in the past or a present or future so these are the facts which we call them as universal truth so universal truth definition is which cannot be changed it is true to all the time okay so while reporting this universal truth or regular habits okay what you have to say the you should never change the tense in the reported speech for example the sun rises in the east already i told you the sun rises in the east is universal truth because always whether it in 1960 or 2024 or 2040 the sun rises only in the east got it so the sun rises in the east said the teacher while converting into indirect speech how do you say the teacher said that the sun rises in the east okay the teacher said that see rises you have not changed that is a verb but you have not changed it okay the teacher said that the sun rises in the east okay now suppose the main verb instead of said if you say if the sentence says says you should not change that also okay main verb in the present tense for example there is no change in the tense of a sentence in indirect speech if the main verb or reporting verb is in the present tense for example raj says here it is says not said raj says i am angry so raj says that he is angry so the tense remains the same and also you should not use said you will use only says as it is says okay now i told you about three other sentences now assertive sentence we have seen so how the change of verb and pronoun and time and place changes accordingly in the indirect speech now coming to the next part of the sentence that is imperative what is imperative imperative is command or request okay what is interrogative interrogative is questioning what is exclamatory sudden outburst of feeling now how to convert these sort of sentences from direct speech to indirect speech now for example imperative what does imperative sentence say imperative sentence definition is it defines either command order or request okay now here in the sentence what i have taken as an example is 
order. Okay, the teacher said to the boys, the teacher said to the boys, open the textbooks, open the textbooks. The teacher said to the boys, open the textbook. This is the direct speech. Now I am converting this sentence into indirect speech. How am I doing it? The teacher asked the boys to open the textbooks. Did I change the verb open? No. I put two before that. Okay, two infinitive. To open. So the teacher asked the boys to open. Don't change open to opened because it's present tense. No. In the imperative sentence, you should not change the verb, but you have to add two. It becomes too imperative. So the teacher asked the boys to open the textbooks. That is imperative. Now, what is interrogative? Interrogative is a question. How do you change? Rama said to me, Do you get the pay? Do you get the price? Rama said to me, Do you get the price? So, Rama asked me if I got the price. If, use if. Yes or no questions. That is do, has. You have to use if. If I, okay, you becomes I, get becomes got. Here in the interrogative, you have to change the verb as per the rules of assertive sentence. I told you present tense will become past tense. You go to the first slide and see the change of tense. Same thing is applicable in the interrogative also but not in imperative sentence. Imperative sentence, you just add to before the verb. So, okay, that's about interrogative. So, Rama said to me, do you get the price? Rama asked me if I got the price. Okay, now exclamatory. How dare you are? How dare you are? She said, how dare you are? She exclaimed that I was dead. Here also what you are doing, you are changing the tense. So, present tense, how dare you are, are becomes here because it is I was. You understood? So, I taught you how to change the tense in the assertive sentence, imperative sentence, interrogative sentence and exclamatory. Now, just try these sentences. Suman said, I have been working on my assignment. Have been. What is have been? Have been working. Present perfect continuous tense. So, present perfect continuous will take in the indirect speech. How do you change present perfect continuous? Past perfect continuous. Okay, now try it. I will go to Delhi this year, said Jaya. Will go, future tense. Will will become what? You know that. Would. So, change. Try that sentence. Pavitra says. Here you have to be very careful. Pavitra says the sentence. The reporting verb is says. So, you should not change anything in this sentence. Pavitra says. I jog for half an hour every morning. Next, Sandy was jumping on the bed. Was jumping past continuous tense. Said Manav to his mother. Next, Anusha said, I shall leave for the concert. Shall leave. Again, it is a future tense. Shall will become should. Okay, if you want to see the answers, I have given the answers also. Suman said, I have been working on my assignment. Suman said that he had been working on his assignment. I will go to Delhi this year, year, said Jaya. Jaya said that she would go to Delhi that year. Pavitra says, I jog for an hour every morning. Pavitra says that she jogs for an hour, half an hour every morning. Why did you write jogs? Third person singular always takes yes with the verb. Okay, jogs, that is why. If it is single, that is I, it is jog. If it is he, she, it, you have to add S to the verb in the present tense. That is why we have added, Pavitra says that she jogs for half an hour every morning. Sandy was jumping on the bed, said Manav to his mother. Manav told his mother that Sandy had been jumping. This is past continuous, will become past perfect continuous tense. Anusha said, I shall leave for the concert. Anusha said that she should leave for the concert. Okay, so I hope you understood what is this direct speech, what is indirect speech and how to convert direct speech sentences into indirect speech sentences. Hope you understood the video. If you like this video, please share it to your friends and press the like button. Thank you so much and if you have any doubts or any comments, you can always welcome to place it in the comment box. Thank you students.